hello friends so in our last video we had seen that there are four ways of inventory control that is by setting quantitative levels on the basis of relative classification using ratio analysis and lastly physical control in our last video we had covered inventory control by setting quantitative levels today we are going to look at inventory control by using ratio analysis so what is a ratio a ratio is when one item is expressed in relation to another first ratio we are going to look at is the input output ratio so as the name suggests it is nothing but the ratio of the quantity of input of material to production and the standard material output so standard material content of the actual output so what does this mean suppose you have input 5 kg of raw material x in the finished product only 4.75 kg of x is available it means that the remaining 0.25 kg has been lost in the production process so we can say that the input was 5 kg but in the output we have only 4.75 kg so this is your loss in the production process by using this ratio we can identify whether our loss has increased or decreased over a period we can compare it and identify the reasons for this decrease in the actual mat uh, in the standard material content of the actual output that for indicates whether the usage of the material is favorable or it was next and the most important is the inventory turnover ratio you can always expect a question from inventory turnover ratio in your exams so what is inventory turnover ratio it is calculated by cost of material consumed divided by the cost of average stock so with the help of this inventory turnover ratio we can calculate the average number of days of inventory holding by dividing by dividing it with 360 days or 12 months so what does this mean so the inventory turnover ratio on an average tells us that how much time do we need to uh, use the entire stock available in our warehouse suppose the average number of days of inventory holding is 10 days for material x and for material y it's 15 days then which is going to be better obviously 10 days 
is better than 15 days. Now, why is it so? If you are holding material in your warehouse, then first of all, it means that your capital is blocked in the form of stock. You do not have this in cash. So, you could have used this cash elsewhere, but your capital is blocked right now. And second, your warehouse, uh, your stock is lying in the warehouse. It means that uh, it has not yet been sold. And without sales, you cannot have cash flow. So, sales is comparatively slow. And both these situations are harmful. So, more the average, so lesser the average number of days, the better it is. What is inventory turnover ratio specifies? Suppose the raw material consumed is 2,50,000 and average stock is 1 lakh. So, 2.5 is your inventory turnover ratio. It means that 2.5 times in a year or in the period, the stock is being consumed. That is revenue is being generated 2.5 times. Suppose your average material consumed is 1,50,000 and the average stock is 1 lakh rupees. So your inventory turnover ratio is 1.5. It means that your inventory is rotated only 1.5 times. That is sales is generated 1.5 times. So inflow sales inflow on account of sales is lower if the inventory turnover ratio is low. Therefore, we can say higher the inventory turnover ratio, better it is because it means that it is a fast moving commodity. More sales is being generated. Sales is being generated at a faster pace. So, cash inflow is more regular. A low turnover ratio means that your working capital is lost in the is blocked in the inventory, sales is generated at a slow pace and therefore your cash inflow is also occurring at less regular intervals. So let us look at a question to understand this better. This question is from the ICI study material. It is given that we have to calculate the inventory turnover ratio of two items. The opening stock is given, purchases during the period is given and closing stock is given. So, for calculating inventory turnover ratio, we require two things. First is a consumption during the period and next is the average inventory. So, computation of inventory turnover ratio so material A and material B first we will calculate the material consumed we calculate it by opening stock plus the purchases minus the closing stock so opening stock of material A is 10,000 rupees. Material B is 9,000 plus the purchases that is 52,000 for material A and 27,000 for material B. Then we have the closing stock which is 6,000 for material A and 11,000 for material B. So, material consumed is 56,000 for material A and 25,000 of material B. Next, we need the average inventory. Average inventory is calculated by opening stock plus the closing stock divided by 2. So, for material A, we have 8,000 rupees, that is 10,000 plus 6,000 divided by 2 
and for material B we have 10,000 that is 9,000 plus 11,000 divided by 2. So the inventory turnover ratio is material consumed divided by the average inventory so for material A it will be 56,000 divided by 8,000 which is 7 times and for material B it is going to be 25,000 divided by 10,000 which is 2.5 times so average number of days of material holding is number of days in a year divided by the inventory turnover ratio so we have Three sixty five by seven, which is approximately fifty two days for material A, and three sixty five by two point five, which is one forty six days for material B. So, what do we understand by this? Point the inventory turnover ratio of material A is seven times. It means the average inventory in the warehouse of material A is being rotated on an average of 7 times. That is, it is generating a sale 7 times in the year. Whereas for material B, the inventory is being rotated only 2.5 times. That is, sales is taking place only 2.5 times. The stock is liquidated only 2.5 times. So, on an average, we hold material A for 146 days, which means capital is blocked in material B for more days when compared to material A. Material B, A, on an average, we hold for 52 days. Thereafter, it is liquidated, that is sales is generated, and there is an inflow or a profit for the company. So, material A, is a faster moving goods than material B. So we see higher the inventory turnover ratio better it is because it means that the stock is liquidated more number of times which is resulting in sales and therefore profit for the company and also the capital is blocked in the stock for lesser number of days. I hope this concept is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can post them in the comment section below. If you like the video, do share and subscribe. Thank you.